Archie, no. Come here. Ooh, what salad is that? Chicken salad. Did you make me a Diet Coke? I have to tell you, this is a huge deal for me to have Diet Coke in this house. We weren't allowed that when we were kids. But you're out on your own now. Are you kidding me, Stella? Well, I leave tomorrow. So, and I do my laundry. I, I, I just did the laundry. I am an empty nester, so I have moved to the rental in Corona Del Mar. It's three bedrooms, and I can walk to the beach every day. I don't need all the space anymore. See, I can't even fit four here in this small place. Let's go sit over in here. Living room. Sophie is a senior at Baylor University, and Adeline is in New York City at the Parsons School of Design. And Stella is part of the USC transfers in Paris. I think you should definitely go abroad. It's like the best opportunity in the world. Oh my gosh, I just love Paris. Paris is just like the most amazing place ever. Oh my gosh, I never want to come home. She's been to nine countries in her first semester, uh, honestly, really living her best life. I'm doing like a once in a lifetime thing, so sorry that I talk about it. Sorry That's that all you can talk about. Are you sad that I'm leaving tomorrow? Yeah. What? What? Why are you crying? I mean, I took Sophie to college, I took Adeline to college, and your dad took you, so it was my intent to come and visit you, and because of my, my mistakes, I wasn't able to come, and I feel bad. So sorry and humiliated and that I disappointed you. Like what kind of example am I at 59? We're glad that you're okay and that no one was hurt and that you take accountability for your actions and you learn from them and you grow. On the night of the DUI, I drove to John's house, stupidly. We got into a big argument and he said, you're a drunken idiot, don't get in your car, but I got in an accident seconds later because I revved up the engine so he could know how mad I was and I lost control of the car immediately. I've never broken a bone. I've never had a concussion. I've never been in an accident. I've never been arrested. I've never had a DUI and I did all that in 10 seconds. It sucks, but this happened for a reason. Oh no, God has a plan. Yeah, he I, does. I absolutely believe that. It seems like you're taking more initiative to figure out why things have happened in your life and like why you keep certain people in your life when they necessarily shouldn't be there. Yeah, kind of seeing who my true friends are. So wait, so you saw Shannon yesterday? I saw Shannon. She came to the studio the other day. She's working out? To do She's yoga? She's class. Did she fall down a lot? No, good for her. I have a soft spot for Shannon. I'm doing my best to try and turn a positive into this. You know, I went to that wellness program for a month mm -hmm. and I am continuing on with a psychiatrist and a therapist there. Like you're doing the work. When you feel like the rug is being pulled out from under you and you are literally at rock bottom, you need a friend. She said, Trace Amigas, she said, you're out. Yeah, I'm out. She was like surprised that you weren't doing it anymore. It was right after her DUI. She was basically on this tour of telling people and the press that she wasn't drinking. You know, she's drinking Diet Coke. And so we're in the green room, there's a bar. She's over there looking, 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 <gasps> pouring oh. it. Shannon and I put this live show together. It was a lot about drinking and I felt that it was bad taste to do a show right after Shannon's DUI. Like, stop, take a beat. Try to figure out what's going on in your life. Stop drinking. Did she put vodka in yeah, Diet Coke? Coke? And I just lost respect. She could have killed herself. She could have killed her dog. I don't understand why I haven't heard from some people. That's just very surprising that they haven't reached out after John. He's dating somebody else that they know and they haven't reached out. I don't want John in my life anymore. But for him to be publicly displaying his relationship right now so quickly after we ended things, it's hurtful. The last time I talked to John was about 10 days after my DUI. He called me and said, I'm cutting ties with you. You've ruined my life and you've ruined my family's lives because of the publicness of who you are. Six weeks later, he started dating Alexis Bellino, the one that started the ball rolling on my lawsuit. He's an embarrassment to this family. That he was ever involved. Yeah, I'm currently feeling with rage thinking about him. Were Shannon and Alexis friends? No, they do not have history other than Alexis's husband, Jim Bellino, sued them. I remember. Them. 
In 2018, Jim Bellino sued Shannon and I for defamation. The case has been closed. I can't really talk about any kind of settlement, but we both lost a lot of money. Shannon lost 300,000, I lost 500,000. She wasn't married to him at the she time. She wasn't married to him at the time, and she has nothing to do with that. Alexis told me then she did not agree with what he did. She has no involvement in it. Do you want to hear karma, though? God's saying to her, if you can't clean your act up after crashing your car and almost killing somebody, I'm going to give your boyfriend to the girl you hate the most. That, well, is, some, that is some serious karma is. right there. If you ever see John with his new girlfriend, <laughs> the most like empowering thing will you just like walking right by. I feel like I don't want to argue, so I just let things go. I'm not going to be that person anymore. If someone upsets me, if someone does something cruel to me, I'm gonna tell them yeah. what they've done. I'm not a victim. Let it be known, I have no fear. I'm not gonna sit there in a corner and avoid Alexis Bellino. I'm gonna walk right up to her and say, let's just get this conversation out of the way. Enjoy my slap of seconds. Here he is. <laughs> Come here, you crazy dog. You're a crazy dog. Can you lay down, sir? Lay down. <gasps> oh, you're such a good boy. Sit. You sit. Be nice. Hi. Hi. Wow. Oh, a lot yeah. Happening here. I know, right? I was trying to make you a salad. Wow. <laughs> You're still trying to cook. That's so There's weird. There's no sink. I've been renovating the house for like two years, but we finally moved on to the kitchen and it has been a nightmare. I haven't had a kitchen sink for weeks. I feel like I need a hard hat. But look, I'm happy because it was stuck in the 90s. Kind of like Shane's wardrobe. <laughs> So tell me Thank what's you. going on with your big house. Are you gonna oh, sell it? You know, I'm listing the La Quinta home right. for Elizabeth. It's going well. And you know what, actually speaking of Elizabeth, yeah. Elizabeth's brother, do you remember Andrew? Yeah, Andrew I remember Vargas? Andrew. Yeah. He bumped into Shannon on New Year's Eve oh, yeah. in the market and she had like a full shopping cart full of booze. That doesn't scream, oh, I'm on a new end. track. Yeah. I just know that I got tortured by this woman over something that I took full responsibility for mm -hmm. years ago. Yeah. I'm not gonna talk about your DUI again. I helped her with her DUI. It would have gone to Child Protective Services. And then we're gonna That's arrest you in the morning. It like is it not true! I have no relationship with Janet. And I don't believe in kicking someone when they're down. But seeing all the news coming in the morning of Shannon's DUI, I mean, this ain't Hammurabi's code, but... An eye for an eye, you know? Do you think that she should just be alcohol-free going forward? I think she should have went to rehab. Well, yeah, I think so, too. I feel like Shannon spiraled. Yes. You know, and I, right into a house. Can you imagine Archie in the backseat? He's just like, what the f We just hit a house. What's in a nice room? He's like, 10 and 2, Shannon, 10 and 2. Mm -hmm.